Have you ever typed Pokemon into the App Store and then just scrolled a little too far? Possibly, but have you ever actually downloaded or played any of the blatant ripoff games you see? Well, you don't have to because I decided to do all of those things myself and I'm gonna let you be the judge of how good of a decision that really was. What is this? Card Evolution TCG? What? It's a Pikachu and a Charmander and an Ivysaur. What is this? Card Evolution TCG Hyper Game. That's Michael Jordan. <laughs> Apparently I've been missing out. I keep buying Pokemon cards or basketball cards, but this game I could pull Michael Jordan or an Ivysaur. It's the best of both worlds. Pokey picks for Pokemon Go filter. <laughs> <laughs> They're Pokemon human abomination hybrid. Why does this woman have the ears of a Flareon in the mouth of a Gloom? <laughs> well, of course I'm gonna download this. I need to see how great I look mixed with a Pokemon. Catcher Box. I is that Bulbasaur? <laughs> Catcher Box is a game that you need to catch the monsters and defeat the boss with the monsters that you collected before monsters reach to the finish line. I need to know more. Let's see what this is all about, okay? <laughs> what? What is happening? What did they do to Bulbasaur? What? What? What is this? I don't understand. What is this? Is that Charmander? What is going on? What is that dude in the middle? Is that Pikachu? Am I winning? I don't, I don't understand. That, that Psyduck? Wait, are my monsters doing a dance? <laughs> I never noticed this. You win and then they just start dancing? Wait, this they're just they're just doing this. They're, they're just do, they're doing this infinitely. Now, now, I, I get it. I, I I understand this game now. Beat them up and dance. Dance like your life depends on it. There we go. Oh, it's just the same level over and over again. There's no more monsters. No new dances. Just just one dance. Just just one dance. And Catcher Box was only the first of many games I'd be playing in my journey to find the absolute worst Pokemon ripoff out there. And I really wish I could tell you it was only up from here. I think it's about time we do Pokey Picks. With most of these games, I don't really know what I'm getting into, but I know exactly what this game's all about. Out just from the description so I'll tap here to add a, a picture I'll take a picture of myself just <laughs> I took a picture that's the that's the picture I I added yeah perfect what what are we gonna add to truly experience these games I knew that I had to fully commit myself fully commit myself to what you may ask artistic excellence <laughs> I think we can do better. All right, what do we got to work with? This is very important. What? Why are there just random cartoon eyes? What am I gonna do with all, wait, beard? That's just a sign that says beard. This is awful. This is just a horrible app. <laughs> yeah, this is my masterpiece. Looking back, I really only have one regret. I just wish I didn't stop there. But wait a second. Who said I had to stop? Hey, Tyler, how's the new house? It's great. It's a little scuffed up in here. I don't have my usual background. Speaking of that background, I got you a housewarming gift. I think it will look great behind you. You ready to see it? Yeah, I am. Voila! Overcome with emotion. What happened to my face? I know, it's great, isn't it? No! You want me to put that behind me? I wanted to share my gift with my friends, so you're welcome, buddy. I didn't say thank you. You didn't have to. So glad I'm not editing this video. If I was truly gonna find the absolute worst Pokemon ripoff game out there, I knew I couldn't be confined to the prison that was the App Store any longer. But considering I only had an iPhone, I needed someone to help break me out of this prison and lead me to the promised land that was the Google Play Store. Someone or something. Just like the sponsor of today's video, Red Magic. This is the Red Magic 8S Pro and I am completely in love with this phone. As always with Red Magic, the packaging itself was incredibly cool, but the main thing that stood out to me was the brand new design on this phone. They ended up sending me their platinum design and this thing is just so much sleeker than the Red Magic 8 Pro 
perfectly complemented by this incredible screen. Absolutely no wasted space with this AM OLED screen that not only looks incredible, but comes equipped with a 120 hertz refresh rate. This phone also comes equipped with 16 gigabytes of RAM and over 500 gigabytes of memory, perfect for downloading every ripoff Pokemon game imaginable. And while other phones might have the space to download all of these games, the Red Magic 8S Pro is actually built to play. It comes with two powerful batteries that should allow you to play games for a long time without running out of power. And if you do start running out of power, that's not a problem at all. This thing comes with Qualcomm Quick Charge 5 technology, which absolutely works like a charm. My absolute favorite part of this phone though is the built-in cooling system. This was actually my favorite part of the older model as well, but they found a way to improve it in this phone with their ICE 12.0 cooling system. My only knock against mobile games is just how much I hate my phone heating up in my hands. I always get worried that something bad is gonna happen to the phone and I'd stop playing. But when that happened with this phone, all I did was go in, turn the fan on, and almost instantly the phone cooled down. It honestly felt like magic. So what are you waiting for? If you're interested in purchasing this phone, click on the link in the description or check the pinned comment down below. Let's see what there is to see. Evolution Monsters. What is this logo supposed to be? Meet Pokemon trainers from around the world. What are these graphics? They said Pokemon trainers, and then, is that Mario? What did he say? Oh, wait, that's, that's a Mario. Yeah, that's Mario from now on. I'm, I'm not correcting myself. That's Mario. It's a me, a Mario. Monstar Champion Battle. Okay, this makes it look like it's Pokemon Unite. I don't know what this map makes it look like, but then it looks like a double battle. I'm intrigued of Monstar Champion Battle. Oh, wow. This is kind of interesting. I did not expect graphics like this. All right, finally, it's the championship competition of the League Conference. I must win the last game. But I didn't expect that the opponent in the last game was Misty. There seems to be something wrong. I right, confirm fights. Oh my god, I got a Zekrom and a Zapdos immediately? Why does she have Rayquaza, Mewtwo, and Dragonite? I feel like I just noticed that. And I just got Pikachu with a hat. But let's hit the uh, the Rayquaza. All right, this is kind of sick. Wait a second, Pikachu. What? Oh my God, these graphics are kind of sick. What? Oh my God. Yo, this is kind of crazy. Wait a second. Wait, wh I wasn't supposed to download any of these games and be impressed. It's a Pokemon ripoff. They've very much taken assets they don't own. Megasizor is talking. My friend, you can't enter the gym with your current strength. Go to the wild to collect more Pokemons to improve your strength. <laughs> ah, the, the gotcha summons. Bonjourno. Magnazone. Nice. What are we battling now? Ooh, immediately a Swamper and a Empoleon. Wait, did Metal Sound just do damage? And Tail Whip just did damage? That's not how that's supposed to work. That's fine. We're gonna take you out easy. It's Pikachu! Oh my god. Some of these moves look crazy cool. There's a lot going on. I'm a little overwhelmed, I'll be honest. We're already battling a Zapdos? How are we already battling a Zapdos? Am I crazy or is this a little early to be battling a Zapdos? We just faced one of them, or I guess other legendaries in a dream. This is like battle three. Wait, did I beat up the Zapdos immediately? Did I just get a Zapdos? What do you mean I just got Zapdos? <laughs> of course I want to upgrade Zapdos. Wait, is my Pikachu now in an outfit? No way. This is great. Dude, my Pikachu in an outfit is just unstoppable. Like, this thing is crazy. A few moments later. Evolution? Wait, but I don't want it to become a Raichu. He has a fun outfit right now. Oh, man. No! Uh, oh, he's surfing on his tail. Wait, that's shiny Raichu. Like, that's absolutely a shiny Raichu. <laughs> but he's surfing on his tail. He's so sick. Dude, the animations in this game go crazy. What is going on? All right, let's see a few of these summons, huh? Let's see if we can get an SSR. Do I click it? All right, we got a rare Starmie. That's pretty cool. Okay, let's see another, huh? Does it depend on the Pokeball that pops out? Oh, it does. This is something rarer. An Ultra Ball. Hello. An SR Alakazam. That's kind of sick. But this, the PM7 Guaranteed Master Ball. Easy. Come on. Come on. 
Come on. Loser! You're a oh, <laughs> not even close. Oh, okay. Something cool. Whee! ASR Dragonite. Hey, this is pretty cool. Why is it just Magnazone in my portal? I don't want Magnazone. He's not on the squad. He didn't make the cut. It's Shiny Raichu. It's Alakazam. And it's Zapdos. But it could also be Dragonite. I feel like it should probably be Dragonite instead of Alakazam, shouldn't it? How do I... Yeah, there's the dancing. No, I want to see the dance. Wait, that was Deadpool Pikachu. Yeah, what? Why? Why? Why is? Why is there dead? That's Deadpool Pikachu. Why is there Deadpool Pikachu? That that's that is that's Deadpool Pikachu. That's what is this game? I am not disrespecting Deadpool Pikachu. Let's get this on the table. Love Deadpool Pikachu. Why is he in this game? Somewhere along the way, my wires clearly got crossed because that was a very different kind of ripoff. That game absolutely ripped off Pokemon in the worst way I had ever seen, but it wasn't actually that bad of a game. I kind of enjoyed myself, weirdly enough. But that's not the point of this video. I'm trying to find the worst Pokemon ripoffs in terms of ripping Pokemon off and the actual game itself, so... I knew I had to backtrack a little bit. I gotta find out more about card evolution. It's time. Swerve to play. Oh, no, okay. Win cash. That's what they mean by swerve. Okay, I, I want the stack of money. <laughs> okay, fight. How, tap? Yeah, beat him up, beat him up, yeah. <laughs> oh my God. What is going on? I don't, I don't understand. Do I keep it? Sure. What? What is going on? All right, let's look at the collection. So the monsters I can collect. Random bull, wolf, dog, bird, I, I don't, monkey, little dragon dude. I think that's a shark with a, with a bib on. I, I'm not entirely sure. Go. There's Bulbasaur. <laughs> there it is. And Squirtle. And Pichu. And Charmander. Wait a minute. Well, I want to get Bulbasaur. Bulbasaur, so I'll watch the ad if I have to, okay? We're, we're gonna get Bulbasaur. Yes, let's go! All right, I got Bulbasaur. Level 51? What is this? Is this as blurry as possible so that they don't get in trouble and like sued from Pokemon? Okay, so I click the Bulbasaur. Wait, no. Wait, why do I have to keep using this? Wait, diamond. I made my bowl a diamond. Mamma mia! Oh, now it's epic with, with rainbows behind it. Yeah. Yeah, beat him up. Yeah, slap him. Slap him in the face. Yeah, get that thing out of here. Boom, new cards. Yeah. Rip them open. Okay. That's new. That's a new, new card. Ooh. Legendary rainbow flying ball. Nah, I... I want to see more cards. I'll watch another ad. Oh, it's time. What are we getting? And sell it. Heirloom! We did it! Ah! The rarest bowl! It looks dumb! Let's go! But I got this little wolf guy. It said I won. What did I win? Skins? What? Why do they have Ash Ketchum sand? This is really weird. Interesting. I got the heirloom out, which is pretty big. Sil oh, wait, no, now we're, now we're the wolf. Why am I the wolf all of a sudden? Oh, do you work your way up towards Bulbasaur? Interesting. Oh, okay. I see the vision. So I gotta work my way all the way up to the Pokemon. Tournament unlocked, that's not a new ad. What does a tournament do for me? $50 to begin. Pick three cards. Heirloom, you. Oh, I get to use my Bulbasaur. Yes, okay, perfect. I'm, I'm gonna send out Bulbasaur. Yeah, my Bulbasaur destroyed you. Yeah! Oh, I outplayed him. Yeah, get out of here. Get out of here. I, ah, oh, you're moving around on me. I see you. Diamond. Ooh. And, wait, whoa, 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 wait. Could this give me a Pokemon? No, it's time. Wait, what did I even get? Oh, is this goat dude? 121,000? Well, I'm gonna keep it if it's that rare, but why is it that expensive? I don't understand. 
I don't get the values in this game at all. What is this even supposed to be? I'll keep it. Minus the little monkey guy. Right. I really want to remove the ads so I can get to my Pokemon friends, but that's $2.99. And for $3.99, I get all of these things. I don't want to spend money on this game, but I feel like I have to. I feel so stupid, but. <laughs> and then we got this dude. What is this? All right, that's kind of sweet. All right, we, we, got, we got this dragon guy. Why is there an ad? I just paid to get rid of the ads. I'm a sucker. Maybe I'm still the sucker who spent $3.99 on an ad-free version of a game that still gave me ads. But let me tell you right now, nothing was going to prevent me from using my Bulbasaur card in this game. Nothing. It didn't matter how long I had to play, I would use that card. Turns out I didn't really have to play that long. I just had to assemble the weirdest collection of cards I'd never really seen. And once I was able to acquire Ash Ketchum's severed hands, things just started falling into place. Oh, oh, there it is. There it is. Yeah, we did it. Venusaur. Now we're finally where, where, where we want to be. There it is, Ivysaur. Nice. Last chest I clicked. Plant Beast. This isn't Venusaur, this is Plant Beast. So it goes Bulbasaur, Bulbasaur with a handkerchief. Then Ivysaur, then Angry Ivysaur, then Mega Venusaur to Venusaur. But then when it comes to the Squirtle line, Mega Blastoise is the final one. But if I do a tournament, Oh, if I win this tournament, I can get Mega Blastoise. I'm ashamed to admit it, but it was at that very moment where I became a Pokemon card evolution addict. But I think you can understand after spending $3.99 to get an ad-free version of a game that still served me ads, I had to get every single Pokemon card in this game, especially since they lied about Michael Jordan. I still want my Michael Jordan card, but if I can't have him, I'll settle for all of the Pokemon, okay? That's a $2.3 million Pichu. I gotta keep it, but that feels like a ripoff. That's so much money for a Pichu. Ooh, $1.2 million Squirtle. Oh, come on. Look at that blurry war turtle. Look at it. <laughs> Boom, baby. Original Blastoise art. You know what? I will claim the Electric Beast. I will. I can almost taste it. We're so close. <gasps> Raichu. Yes. That's what you like to see. We're making progress. Sure. Let's put that gold boom. The heirloom Raichu. It looks terrible. <laughs> oh my God. They blinded Charmander. Why would they do that to my boy? Level 95. Rainbow Rain Charmeleon. That's that's what you like to see. Perfect. Seven million dollar Charizard card. I'm rich. <laughs> the collection, it's almost complete. All this time, only two more to go. Oh, that's another one. That's another one I've been looking for. Keep it. Boom. There it is. The final Charizard. Keep it. The full collection! Ladies and gentlemen, the gang's all here. The bulls. The wolves. The monkeys. These guys. <laughs> the very, very cool sharks. Rams. Plant beast. Squirrel turtle. Electric dude. And the fire dragon. I got all 60 cards. No, 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 I... No, I'm done. I'm done. I've done everything there is to do. I'm done with this game. I did it all. <laughs> I was just seeing if they added the Michael Jordan card. I'm, I'm not addicted anymore. I'm done with the game. I swears it. And after that experience, I had half a mind to end the video right there. But I knew that wouldn't be right. There were still a few other types of Pokemon ripoff games I hadn't tried out yet. Quiz for Pokemon. Let's see what that's all about. Level one through nine. Interesting. We're getting right into it. Let's see. <laughs> what? Oh no. That's so many levels. I, wait, is it just spelling Pokemon? No. <laughs>
<laughs> no. Oh my god. Is it 900 levels of spelling Pokemon names? There, there's no way, right? It wasn't actually just 900 levels of spelling Pokemon names correctly. It was 900 levels of spelling Pokemon names correctly and... Hi guys, it's Rick Hoffman. Oh, As you know okay, no, I'm done with this game. No, I'm done with this game. That's fine. One of the Pokemon quiz apps was not very fun. It was just spelling. I had spelling tests in elementary school. I'm a big grown man. I don't need to spell no more. I'll be a Pokey Dentifier. <laughs> Pokey Dentifier? This is gonna be the quiz. Th this, is, this is the good quiz. All right, start. I actually thought that was Grimer. <laughs> Rapid fire, this is great, look at this. Boom. Easy. Just dominating this. Oh, you get more time for everyone you get right? So I could get like infinite time? They just called ho ho ho. You can't just call ho 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 ho. That's not cool, game. The first Pokemon quiz was just a spelling test. And this was the easiest who's that Pokemon game of all time. I need a third Pokemon quiz. I really hope it doesn't disappoint me. What is that logo? Is that supposed to be a happy Voltorb sticking its tongue out at me? Quiz for Pokemon and anime fans. I finally found the greatest Pokemon quiz app. This is what I've been searching for. Global score? 4,537 people. I could be number one someday. That's pretty big. Pack one, free 50 super fun Pokemon trivia questions. I got this 100% guaranteed. What Pokemon in Pokemon Go has electricity storing pouches on its cheeks? It's Pikachu in all of the games. It's not Pokemon Go only. The player's Pokedex in Pokemon Sun and Moon is inhabited by what Pokemon? Rotom. What water type Pokemon is one of the three starter Pokemon in the Alola? Why is it Gen 1 or Gen 7 questions? I don't understand. Wait, why'd I only get six points? I got everything right. Um, oh, I don't even know. <laughs> Crap! I didn't remember that. Oh God, they're stumping me. Uh, what what two fields were not in the Pokemon League? I, I, don't, I don't know. Dang. What? How did Ash obtain his signature hat in Pokemon? What it from the... Pock plus Mon Expo? <laughs> what do you mean Ash won his hat from the Pock plus Mon Expo? Oh, come on. I have to buy to get more of the trivia questions? Oh, I kind of want to, but it would be such a waste of money. What's my global score? Wait, I'm ranked 759th overall? Wait a second. I know what I have to do. I know what I have to do. In retrospect, you'd think a Pokemon YouTuber wouldn't need to climb the ranks of a shoddy Pokemon quiz app to prove their Pokemon knowledge, but that's what separates me and the rest of them. What other Poketuber do you know that's climbed all the way into the top 100 of trivia Pokemon? 10 points. That's big, that's big. What's my global score now? 476. Oh, it's time. 32nd overall, there we go. I think the only way I'd be able to move up is if if I paid money to buy more packs. And I definitely had learned my lesson and did not do the 99 cents, one time charge. Yes. It didn't even get me higher and Wait! Oh, that was the leaderboard for pack one! <laughs> oh my god, I'm already 15th overall in pack two because I'm one of the only people to spend the money. Oh no. No more Pokemon quiz apps. I'm, I'm sick of them. At this point, there was really only one thing left to do. Give the Google Play Store one final chance at redemption. And suffice to say, it did not disappoint. Or maybe it did. I... I don't really know why I did all of this. Let's see what mysteries await us in Mythical Monster Arena. Who are you supposed to be? And why are there golden eggs at your feet? What are these? <laughs> what is this? Mythical Monster Area. It's got a Pokeball in the background and Jesse. What are these pixelated dragons? So let's let's just go attack everywhere. Heck yeah. All right, ch challenge, challenge level three. No, get, get, get this dude. Uh, he's got, what is in his face? Is that a laser face? Monster area. It's got the Slowking fusion. It's got this Cacturn Gorgeist fusion. And then this Drapion something fusion. Why are there so many Pokemon pictures? What is this game? Have I been bamboozled? Did they trick me? Usually when I finish a video like this, I'd like to think I accomplished something or maybe at least to learn something, but I kind of feel like I just wasted a bunch of time and also $4.98.
Huh.